This video is brought to you by the newest Zack Star merch drop. Hey, is that all I have to say? Merch drop and then they buy it? Or do I have to go prank a homeless person or something? All right, let's get to the video. Margaret was a loving mother, wife, sister, and friend who was taken from us far too soon. And as we bid farewell, we trust that her spirit will continue to guide and protect the ones who loved her, reminding us that her purpose in this world was fulfilled according to God's plan. And then Margaret gets hit by a bus, like, explosion, blood oh, everywhere. Shit. Oh, and it's raining. So it's like mood, right? Damn, I did not see that coming. Because didn't she have like kids and a husband and a pretty good life and all that? Mm-hmm. So what's the lesson? Life sucks, learn now. Oh. Oh, that's good. Because then they're going to be coming up with all these motivational quotes. Like, tomorrow's never promised. You know they're putting that on a bumper sticker. Thanks to us. <laughs> yeah. I mean, even if it makes no sense, tomorrow's never promised. It's in four hours. Like, yeah, true. Okay, so now that Margaret is out of the picture... I'll have the husband, Jared, now single, run into Lisa at the Starbucks by his house because Lisa was the one he was really meant to be with. They'll meet, chat it up, fall in love, boom, call me Cupid. Why couldn't you have Jared meet Lisa in the first place, never meet Margaret, so you don't have to kill Margaret for them to be together? Because then Jared and Margaret would never have kids. Yeah, but... Jared and Lisa will have kids, so. So you basically want me to kill Jared and Margaret's kids before they were even born? That's fucked up. Okay, now let's move on to some new characters. Oh, I'm thinking Caroline. Okay, let me know what you think of this. So Caroline is running to catch the bus, right? She's running late for work. But then, oh no, she trips. Doesn't make it until a man drives by, sees her, offers her a ride. Okay, they get to talking. And then the man kidnaps her. What? Stuffs her in a basement, puts her through constant torture for like a year. Oh my God. But then he murders her. Okay. But then 20 years later, after having never found the guy, the case opens back up again. And the two people assigned to it, Officer Davis and Officer Taylor, who accidentally touched hands yes, at that at bar that, bar that, that one time one. when reaching for, for a drink they, they both, both thought, thought was theirs. theirs. Only to never see each other again. So they thought. That's beautiful. You see? But there's no other way for them to meet that doesn't involve torture? Absolutely no way. It would literally be a mathematical impossibility while breaking every law of physics. She just has to get tortured constantly for a year. In the most gruesome way possible. Yeah, it makes sense. God's plan. Okay, now let's look at Riley. But how can we be sure that she'll end up with Tony if she's with Jim right now? Genocide. Jinx. All right. And the genocide clearly needs to be in the, the Bahamas. Bahamas. Yep. It's the only way. Jim needs a break from the relationship. Takes a trip to the Bahamas. Ethnic, ethnic cleansing. cleansing, Jim gets caught up in it, boom, no more Jim. Riley gets upset, so naturally goes to Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Yep. Runs into Tony, boom, they fall in love. Aww. Didn't think there'd be a happy ending to that one. What do I always say? God has a plan. God has a plan. In the end, everything works out. Okay, now, after 100,000 people have been slaughtered, I'm thinking... Which means if less than 10 million people die of cancer this year, then Terry's never going to discover the recipe for that Chipotle lobster dipping sauce. Oh, and that sounds so good. It changes everything. Okay, then what we need to focus on, I think, is... No, if there isn't a 10.0 magnitude earthquake in Moldova, then Jenny will never know that it was Daniel who really wrote her that letter. But then she'll think it was Brad. Yeah, but... Brad only took credit for it after finding it in her mailbox before she could. And what kind of evil monster would I be if I just let that happen? Yeah, you gotta do it. 
Well, if the plane isn't struck by lightning during a tornado while a tsunami hits the coast of Angola, then the automatic laundry folder is never going to be invented. But then they'll have to fold it all, all by, by themselves. And that's just, just the worst. Well, if there isn't a second holocaust in Antigua and Barbuda for the entire month of Ramadan, then there will never be a Sharknado 7. And you checked- I checked every conceivable universe by hand. Even the ones with no life. And they all end at 6. Except one. God, Seven's where they really turn it around, too. That ending? Fucking crazy. Okay, now, I want to focus on... Well, if she doesn't get explosive diarrhea while saying her wedding vows, then she'll never achieve her dream of becoming a traveling French pastry chef. Oh, and that was really important to her. Yeah, and... So if he doesn't catch his dad masturbating in a Big Bird costume on Chinese New Year, then he's gonna end up with Christina instead of Rachel. And it has to be on- Has to be on Chinese New Year. Do it. Well, if he doesn't get an under the table foot job from the maid at the family barbecue, then he's never gonna make employee of the month at the used car dealership. Why was the maid at the family barbecue? Cause she's part of the family, okay? So, if everyone watching this video doesn't buy this fucking awesome mug, then Kim Kardashian's gonna become president of planet Earth. Not opposed if it comes with another sex tape. Hey guys, God here. So, yeah, get some of this new merch by clicking the link below, or who knows what could happen. Alright, that's it. See you guys next time.